Good morning, everyone. So, so now that now that we uh, know that it's important to prevent uh, phlebitis, post-traumatic phlebitis, how do we diagnose? How do we diagnose superficial veins? Uh, how do we evaluate superficial vein? How do we diagnose the reflux so that we can prevent those from happening? So the venous anatomy of the leg consists of obviously the deep veins, as we know, uh, the femoral veins, uh, and the muscular muscular fascia is the is the layer which really separates those two. So this is a CT venogram. The that's the muscular fascia, and this is the vein, the deep vein, and then you have the superficial vein on top of the muscular fascia on cross section and longitudinally. And you have these perforating veins, which connect these two primarily. Again, as we know, the veins wall have muscular have a much less robust muscle layer, and they can compress easily. And compared to a artery, that's how we diagnose by um, on two D cross section which one is vein. It's as we will see. It's very important to look at the uh, at least try to look for the uh, valves, venous valves, especially in the saphenofemoral junction and saphenopopliteal junction while evaluating superficial veins. So this is the basic anatomy. As we know, the venous flow comes flows from distal to proximal, from superficial to deep veins, and the. Um, the new, the accepted nomenclature is there is great saphenous vein and small saphenous vein. So the previous nomenclature of greater saphenous vein, long saphenous vein, short saphenous veins, lesser saphenous vein no longer is valid. And uh, it's, it's so the greater saphenous vein starts from the dorsal venous arch, pedal arch. It courses along the uh, anterior aspect of the medial malleolus. Then it goes posteriorly, actually posteromedially, and subsequently it goes anteromedially in the thigh, and finally it joins the deep vein through the, uh, at the saphenofemoral junction. S similarly, it's the small saphenous vein again arises from the dorsal pedal venous arch. It, it actually goes posteriorly through the gastrocnemius muscle uh, on top of the gastrocnemius mu muscle, superficial to the muscular fascia, and then finally joins the popliteal vein through the saphenopopliteal junction, just like the saphenovenous junction. It may give rise to a superior branch, a vein of giacomoni. Um, again, there are a lot of variations of the small saphenous um, Small saphenous vein that we that we should be uh, careful about so that we don't overdiagnose uh, reflux. So the primary approach to evaluation is to start the flow is from distal to proximal. The evaluation needs to be proximal to distal because proximal veins are bigger, so they are easier to see. And much more importantly, it's those two junctions that we talked about uh, where we evaluate the vein, and that's where the evaluation should start. So the patient uh, needs to be in erect or reverse Trendelenburg position, non-weight bearing position. And uh, I cannot stress enough the importance of starting from the junction to look for the, um, for the valve. The saphenovenous junction is visible on the anteromedial surface of the common femoral vein in transverse view. And, the long, and then the longitudinal view of the uh, saphenophenous junction is useful for assessing the reflux of the terminal valve. So again, because we are all good with pictures, so this is a non-weight-bearing position of the, um, of the leg. And first we evaluate with transverse view, uh, sorry, longitudinal view of the sa um, uh, great saphenous vein draining into the common femoral vein. So. Uh, so you, as you know, common femoral artery, common femoral vein, so that, that's where we are evaluating. Um, the first view is of a longitudinal view. We are looking for this valve, valvular incompetence here, and this is the CT vein equivalence of that. 
once we have the, that step number one, step second step, then we come down, we go into transverse view, and this is where we see why it's called superficial uh, superficial vein, because this is the muscular fascia, this is the saphenous fascia, and it looks what they what we call as Egyptian eye, and this is this is your um, super is, is the GSV. Similarly, when we come on the slightly posteromedial aspect distally, and again, this is layered between the fascia. So, so this is the uh, tibial bone, and this is the muscular fascia, and this is the uh, fascia which is holding the superficial vein together. So the terminal valve at the saphenophenous junction prevents the backflow into the great saphenous vein, so whenever we do a provocative test like Valsalva, there is a retrograde flow in the proximal GSV persisting more than half second, and that is defined as reflux. So again, what are the steps to diagnose venous insufficiency? Blood pressure cuffs are placed in thigh, calf, and above the ankle. Uh, unlike, uh, here we are imaging in B-mode ultrasound, and then cuffs are serially inflated to occlude the venous flow and then rapidly deflated so that we can look for reflux more than five seconds here. Now there has been a study of over uh, approximately 300 patients in which they compared the reflux time with the velocity and peak flow at the peak of the reflux and um, that's another thing to consider. I think we should also look more for the velocity and the peak flow and during the peak of the reflux. So this is your typical reflux. As soon as the cuff is down, um, this is the flow distal to proximal here. And as soon as the cuff is down, it refluxes for more than one, two, three, four, five seconds in the opposite direction. So like I was telling you that um, a study showed that the, the peak velocity during the reflux and the volume, pretty much area under the curve, might correlate even better than um, the five second rule. Ignore this, the name should be small saphenous vein. So how do you evaluate that? That is at the middle of the gastrocnemius belly in the facial trunk, and it goes upward and enters into the popliteal vein. Again, like we start from proximal to distal evaluation of the small saphenous vein at the popliteal junction um, to assess for insufficiency of small saphenous vein. In the saphenopopliteal junction, calf squeezing with the blood pressure cuff augments the venous flow at first, followed by retrograde flow. There are many anatomic variations in the distal part of the superficial vein, that's a small saphenous vein that we need to be uh, aware of, and the saphenopopliteal junction may not always be present. So again, we start from the saphenopopliteal junction with a longitudinal view, and again, this is the CTV, how the uh, small saphenous vein drains into the popliteal vein. And once we, d we find the valve, then we come down into the gastrocnemius muscle. And again, this is the gastrocnemius muscle. This is the muscular uh, fascia. And this is where the uh, small saphenous vein is. Just a little bit word about the perforating veins because they, um, we, we may have patients with severe reflux into the perforating veins. Um, so again, that's the muscularis fascia, there's a superficial vein, and in, when it goes into the deep vein, you might have significant um, reflux. So from GSP to femor femoral vein, and the perforating vein is visible like this, and you might have significant reflux. So in summary, um, take home message would be to uh, evaluate in the right position at the right frequency. For superficial veins, it's usually more than five megahertz frequency, um, which might be lower for uh, obese patient or for um, edematous patient for deep vein, to evaluate the deep veins. Uh, finding the right position, evaluate from proximal to distal, evaluate the saphenofemoral junction and saphenopopliteal junction first in the longitudinal view to look for the valvular reflux and then evaluate uh, the distal uh, su uh, superficial veins uh, um, and finally do the B-mode ultrasound with cuff pressure to look for reflux time. 
and in reflux time, more than five seconds is, is pathognomic of significant reflux. However, also look for the volume and the peak velocity at the beginning of the reflux. Thank you.